Here we were here outside the old Triumph number no. two factory with the main factory that was just up the road there. What was the number no. two factory famous for? This is the um, place where we used to bring the bikes for America um, that were going to be knocked down and crated up to be shipped. Um, basically, it was to free the floor over on the main production site of uh, hundreds of bikes just standing around. Um, Latterly, it's been obtained uh, by young David Holder, the son of the famous Matt Holder, who is... Um, of, of Scott Motorcycles. Uh, yes, yeah. Scott, Vincent and Velocet. And uh, David now has rechristened the place the Velocet Motorcycle Company, although he's called it the Meriden Works. <laughs> and um, on its premises now um, are machines that uh, can manufacture Triumph spare parts. Dealers come in from around the world uh, and they collect spares for uh, Scott, uh, Triumph, Velocet, Vincent um, and they're all made to the original spec out of as far as we can or as far as David can from the original materials. So it's a nice touch then that Triumph still have a home in Meriden even oh, if it is just parts. Yes, yes it is indeed. Uh, I'm up here on an average three times a week collecting yeah. spares. A, a, uh, a well-worn track then? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it is. On my Tiger 100, I can usually make it in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the site of the original Triumph factory um, just outside Meriden in rural Warwickshire. And I'm here with Huey Hancox. Very nice to see a Bonneville close here, and uh, especially as we're close to Bonneville land, as it were. Yes. I, I noticed up there there's a Daytona drive. So if you're really into Triumphs, Huey, this is the place to live, isn't it? Well, I should think the people here are quite fed up with streams of motorcyclists paying homage, but this is near enough, the main drive, into the old factory site. Uh -huh. um, roughly where that tub of flowers is... But by Daytona uh, Drive? By Daytona Drive. I should think that would be um, old Pop Wright's time office. <laughs> Uh, and uh, uh, I think, and I heard the other week, that the people here are quite fed up. Uh, one chap, in fact, uh, uh, had his rotovator pick something up in uh, one of the gardens and uh, it didn't do the rotovator any good when he pulled out an old rear wheel <laughs> <laughs> that had been buried over, over the number of years. Uh, has that gone back to your workshop now? Uh, no, I think, I think it might have gone in the skip. <laughs> but there are people here. Um, I know one chap that lives uh, across the road that is heavily into Triumphs and a few weeks ago when we had the Bonneville celebration over at the uh, National Motorcycle Museum quite a few people gathered on the end of this close myself included and um, a lot of people came down uh, some of them are still into old Triumphs yeah, yeah. well it, nostalgia I mean it rules these days but I suppose it is nice to say that the legend lives on then it's a time machine isn't it, <laughs> it, is. it, it, it yes it is it's a time machine uh, it'll never die. <laughs>